Hello and welcome. Today we'll be talking about one of my favorite Swiss Army Victorinox tools. This is the Switch Champ, and it's quite a big multi-tool knife, but it's packed full of features and different tools, 33 tools to be specific. The dimensions are going to be height is 1.13 inches, length is going to be 3.6 inches, and the width is going to be 1 inch. The weight's going to be 6.5 ounces. Here we can see the Swiss Champ on the top, the bottom, the side, and the other side. We'll start with the key holder, and I have a paracord fob attached to it. This is 550 fire cord. It has the typical strands you would find in 550 paracord, plus a wick inside of it for starting fires. You can take this apart and fan it out, and you can start a fire with it if you want for fire starting material. So I have that on the Swiss Champ here. Let's start on the back side here with the slotted screwdriver for the eyeglasses. I use this for a variety of different things other than my glasses, namely to clean out smaller to hard to reach spots with this slotted screwdriver. It also has this corkscrew, which you can use to untie knots with and or do light duty scraping on it as well as it comes to a fine point here, but not too sharp. A very useful tool to have on the Swiss Champ. In the scale here, we do have this small pin this is a fine point pin. It's good for unclogging super glue tubes that I use for gluing stuff. Since the top portion gets solid and you can't have glue coming out, you take that little pin, you clean out the top portion, the port of it, and then you can pour your glue out again. So it's nice to have something to be able to do that and poke and puncture that kind of material. Moving along, we have the chisel part here. It's a nice feature on the Swiss Champ. It comes to a fine point here, and this is good for scraping off stuff as well. Next up is the slotted screwdriver, and I like this as it's a smaller slotted screwdriver, and it's in a torquing position on the Swiss Champ here. Next up is the controversial hook. This is a multi-use tool in my opinion, and I use this for undoing knots. I use it for carrying bundles of wood with a thinner paracord wrapped around it, light bundles of wood, but nonetheless, I can carry bundles of wood with this. It's normally made for a parcel hook, meaning you bring your parcel to the post office or your recycled paper with a thin cordage and you use this to grab that thin cordage with, and then you can carry it without hurting your fingers. But there's a lot of things you could use this hook for. You can also use it for a camping pot on a fire where you can grab that handle if it's too hot and you can get it inside the hook take it off the fire and you will be able to not burn your hands. There's plenty of other uses for this hook, but it is a good tool to have. Moving along, we do have the awl. This is sharpened on one ed he edge here and also has a sewing eyelet. So this is pretty good for puncturing leather. I've used this for a general purpose scraping tool as well as it has a broad surface area here amongst the sharpened edge. A very good useful tool, especially if you want to drill into wood. You can make pilot holes like that pretty easily. And then we have the key chain holder here, which they consider the 33rd tool. Now let's go on to the scale tools. As this is the plus scale, we have the typical tweezers you would find in most 91mm platforms. Very useful for getting splinters out and for cleaning your own tool as well. On this side, we do have the additional scale plus feature item which is the ballpoint pen this is pressurized it's good for writing an emergency or if you get your pen and you're around town and you need to use a pen to sign something quickly efficiently this pen will do and it writes pretty well in this slot we normally would have a toothpick however we do have a aftermarket fireflies type of ferro rod to use this rod you would use it on the thinner side here and you would brace it underneath with the item or your finger perhaps and we'd scrape off with the back of the saw on this tool to get some sparks. And it has this glowing dark resin on the outside which is kind of nice for finding in the dark. So this is an aftermarket upgrade for the toothpick slot on the Swiss Champ. Moving over to the top we do have the smaller pen blade knife and this is a nice controlled item to use. It's shorter meaning you can control a little bit easier for when you do finding when you do finer tasks and other things like that. 
and it also functions as a good backup blade in case you break your main blade or you can use this as the main blade instead of the bigger blade we do have the bigger blade here again it's also very sharp i use this for woodworking i've used this to make makeshift ponchos out of garbage bags at work when i work outdoors it's quite a useful knife to have on the victorinox it's non-locking but that's not a problem for most places that have laws in place that ban non-locking or rather locking blades so in europe this is a pretty useful tool to have and it's legal as, a, as far as i can understand in the states it's not so much a issue so it is something to be considered about in terms of working with tools the folding part of that non-locking blade can come back and hurt you so exercise caution when you use that knife moving along we do have the metal file this is a nice file as it has single hatching here cross hatching here and it also has teeth here for cutting bearing down on metal surfaces and a rounded point at the top here again for scraping or cleaning out items and you can use this as a light duty fingernail file as well very useful and very functional next up we have a very useful tool one of my favorite tools on a victorinox and that is the wood saw this wood saw is a decent saw i use this for going on trails and doing trail maintenance sometimes when i forget my main saw or i don't have it on me during patrol we'll try to clean up the trail especially when we come across downed limbs and other plants on the trail i'll use the saw to cut and process that material and clean it of the trail very useful item to have you can use the back spine of this on that ferro rod to get a good spark going next up is also a pretty decent tool this is called the fish descaler i don't use it for that i use it for its ruler measurements centimeters and in inches on this side and it's a light duty pry tool at the top here i wouldn't use this for heavy duty prying but you can use it for that function and moving along to one of my favorite tools on any victorinox and what's well known for is the scissors these scissors have a spring mechanism here which you can replace if it gets damaged or broken or lost these scissors are very very high quality they're very precise they work well for cutting cloths sewing threads and other miscellaneous items nice story behind this is when i was filming a wedding recently the, they needed a multi-tool and one of the tools they needed was a pair of scissors during the wedding and at several points throughout the entire day this tool kept being used for its scissors and other implementations so it's a very very useful item to have the scissors is one of the best tools made i haven't found any scissors that are better than a victorinox other than the venger models moving along we have a nice pair of small duty light duty pliers we have the tips here for fine pinching and then we have regular plier heads here and then right here in between i don't know if you can see it in the camera we do have a small slot here for a very very thin gauge wire and then we also have wire crimpers here in, in the center beneath the head some models of the swiss champ especially the earlier ones might not have this additional feature behind the pliers so that's important to note and again the same type of spring system on the scissors is found also on here next up is a nice item that i like to use quite a lot for my electronics and also for fire starting out in the woods this is the magnifying glass now this is made out of plastic i believe and the housing has changed throughout the years this used to be a gray type of magnifying glass with a actual glass inside of it with a different magnification i believe so that is something to consider when you're shopping around for different versions of the swiss champ this is very useful for seeing ham radio parts such as capacitors and resistors sometimes i can't see too well and i use the magnifying glass to identify parts numbers and whatnot so it's a fairly useful item and also good for starting fires next up is a very useful tool this is the 3d screwdriver it's a phillips head it comes in in line here and you can also lock it to a 90 degree angle for better torque a very useful tool and one of the most used ones on the tool for me in my daily activities for edc carry moving along we do have the bigger slotted screwdriver a bottle cap opener 
and also a wire bender here. And this also functions in a 90 degree fashion for better torque and also in line fashion as well. So to use the wire bending portion, you would have to use it in conjunction with the blade knife here. You pitch your wire that you want to strip. You would close this down on the wire. You would then score it. And once it's scored fully, you can put it into this wire bend here, bend it and break that coating around the wire. And that's how you would strip a wire. Moving along, we do have another combo tool. This is the can opener and also a small slotted slash Phillips head type of screwdriver. Although th on this particular tool, I would argue that it is more effective as a slotted screwdriver. This is a pretty useful item other than being used for cans. I use this to open boxes with going along the tape route. This sharpened portion here does a good job at cutting the tape and scoring boxes. So in order to save the edges on my knife blades here and potentially my scissors too, I would use this instead. Overall, this is a fantastic knife with so many functions inside of it for its size to weight ratio. We do have some other type of knives just to show for size comparison only here. First up is the Victorinox CyberTool Lite. This is a 91 millimeter platform knife, as you can tell. It has many of the same features as the Swiss Champ with a couple of different exceptions. We're not going to get into the exceptions, but for size comparison, you can see versus the Swiss Champ here. And this is more main, made for a urban slash non-outdoors duty type of knife, which I use it for. And then another knife that's more geared in a lighter weight fashion, reducing the amount of tools on this for a lightweight option for outdoors is the Victorinox Huntsman Lite. Now this has the same tools on here with the exception of the light module. This tool will be more for a general purpose outdoors and offering more options. This would be for light duty hiking type of situation for my needs when I'm outdoors. And this would be for more of a urban setting or electronical setting, which I need for working on electronics. Overall, it's a fantastic knife, the Swiss Champ. It's a classic amongst collectors and for good reason, because it offers so many different features and tools that have been useful. Sometimes it takes a while to figure out how to use the tools in your applications. So don't let that be a detriment to your needs when you might see a tool that might not seem so practical. Later on down the road, it might become practical for you. And again, there's many situations where other people might need to borrow your tool to help themselves out in a situation. This offers a lot of options in that sense. Overall, I really like this one. It's one of my favorite tools in the entire lineup, other than these other tools here on the side. And I definitely recommend you look them up. The price on this can be anywhere from about $95 to about $106. $106 on the main Victorinox website. Sometimes on eBay, you can find them used and slightly new for less price, but you have to check the models you're getting. Once again, you want to check the magnifying glass, whether it's a gray one or a clear plastic housing and the plier head here. You may not get the wire crimper underneath. So hence the number of functions would be from 33 to 32. There are a variety of different iterations of this knife throughout the years, especially in the nineties and the late eighties. Something to consider when you're looking around for a used Victorinox. And that's all I have to say about the Swiss Champ. Thank you guys for watching and enjoy.